Hey, it's your boy Mike Beats and Noise Flow. We bring you great beats, great sounds. Let's turn it up a notch. So today I'm gonna be talking about this new plugin called Melody Sauce by Eva Beats, man. Shout out Eva Beats, man. Um I'm gonna let y'all look at the website, man. It's a dope website, man. It's only 40. I mean, you could buy this for $50. Just $50, man. Like, if you make chords and you need help with your melodies, man, I'm gonna show you how to use it. I'm gonna show you right now how to use it. Um, make sure you check them out, man. It's everbeats.com. Man, you see what it is, man. Like, let's get right into it, man. It's the it's like the next great melody sauce spark where you be a correct you know what hey i'm just saying just just check it out um this is what it looks like so this is what we're gonna do this 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 how you set it up go ahead and throw your cores in And just in case you don't know, if you want to find the chords, there's a plugin called Hornet Song Key, MK2, and it looks like this. It actually show you what chords you in. Then it show you like, this actually help out with the melody too, the melody sauce plugin. Um, you can see the key is F minor, right? So this is what you want to do. You want to go ahead, bring up your melody, go to where it say VST rapper setting. You want the output to be the same number as the where plugin you use for your sound. So I'm gonna use expand two. So my melody sauce gun output 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 port is gonna be three. The my X band two same thing. Go to the VST wrapper setting. Make the import be three. And I already picked my sounds and everything. What I'm gonna use so. Uh, Bring up your melody. This is what you want to do. I know that the um, key is F minor. So I'm going to look up in here and find the F minor. Right here. Then you got the speed. The speed is like how fast you want the notes to go. So... Let's give it a little test. You got the octave, you got the swing. I don't use the swing, the triplet. I don't use that. Let's take the sync, the sync off. Um, there's different notes how they play. They got the light, dark, and both. So you know, let's go with let's go with um, let's go with let's go with dark. But we could go with dark and both. And let's see what that sound like. But you got the harmonize over here. You can, when you get this, you can actually see what it do. I'm gonna show y'all. Let me uh, let me see. Let's go with slow. Let's see what this uh melody sound like. It's all right. Let's uh, let me. Let me just change the speed to fast. And you see what I'm saying? Like, the minor is the dark side. So that's why I did... 
that's why I did D both, but at the same time, I knew it's going to get that dark side, more of that dark side. Say you don't like that, but you still like the DB, you still like the dark, you still like the both. So you click it again for another melody. And see how it's highlighted right here with the play icon? Now, as you see that, I'm using this right here where I say expand to. I'm using that, wherever sound I picked up in that, right? Say I do want to use this same uh, plug-in, but don't want to use this melody no more. So I could just mute that. I could mute that. I could delete that. And say I delete that, and um, I don't want to use it no more. Uh, okay, basically, this is what you want to do. You take this right here, right here where this little icon look like four arrows going up, down, northwest. You see, I'm, you, you hold on to it, and you go right here, and then you just drop it. You just slide in. You just drop it. But let me show you what this sound like with this harmonize. But you got to go back to unmute. You should hear the change when I do it. You should hear the change when I do it. What you think? Oh, I mean, it's, if you if you if you don't like that melody, you go to the same one. You go to dark. You go to both, and you click it again. I mean, I mean, look, look, listen, listen. I'm being. You can't go beat block with this. You can't go beat block with this is what I'm saying. But I'm going to go back to the, the number two melody. I, I like that one better. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to take off this melody. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to drag this over here. Right. Now I'm going to go ahead and delete the melody. I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back to VST's um, rapper settings. Go ahead and put that back where it was at. I'll make that say. And if you watch what I did, how I highlight this and I moved it, I hit the alt and the down arrow to move it down. Just a little sauce for you. Since we talk about melody sauce, let's talk about a little more sauce. Let's talk about a little more sauce. So, um, hear that? It's gonna be a short video, ain't gonna be long. Let me wanna try. Uh... Yeah, heat up too. You already know. We talk about that some other time, but one of my I like the bass. I like the snoop. I like the snoop bass. I like the snoop bass.
and there you go i mean that's how you use the melody sauce plugin i'm just saying i'm just saying so if you need more help hey just comment below uh shoot me an email i help you out the best way i can hey let's keep doing what we're doing keep on being creative you already know it's your boy Bigs.